Hi everyone, this is Hardik from Fuzzing.in. Thank you for watching my videos. In our previous videos, we have seen how can we fuzz various binaries and programs on Windows as well as on Linux-based system. And we have seen various fuzzes like Vini, Fel, E, Fel, Libe, Fel, A, Fel, Plus, Plus, Checkola, Pong, Fuzz, etc. So I thought it will be a good idea to create a video on how can we fuzz binaries on macOS. As you might be aware that for Mac OS, we don't get the source code of DLL or binaries. And so what we need to do is purely black box fuzzing. So for that, we can use a fuzzer uh, called Jackalog, which we have uh, in the past used for our uh, Windows uh, based environment where we have fuzz various binaries uh, using this fuzzer. So we are going to use Jackalog fuzzer as it is supported on Mac OS as well. So in this video, first we are going to see how can we compile Jackal of Fuzzer on the Mac OS and then what are the steps we need to do when we want to fuzz a Mac OS binaries. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. That will help me to create more such videos. So let's start. First thing we need to do is that we need to clone jackalop on our system and for that we will simply use a command uh, that is jackalop and uh, the path for uh, its github url that is this one so you can see that this is also written by a1 Frederick who works for google project zero so we can use this command that is jet clone uh, https github.com google project zero uh, slash jackalop.jit what it will do is that it will clone the github repo of jackalop on our system in my case i already have it cloned so that's why we are getting this error but in your case if you don't clone it will clone this repo on your system and after that when you go to the jackalop directory and then we need to clone all the dependencies so jackalop uses a tiny instrument uh, machine library so we are going to use this command that is jet clone dash dash records uh, dash sub modules space https github.com google project zero tiny dot jet so what it will do is that it will clone the tiny instrument and all the uh, related dependencies on our system and then we will compile it so on my system i already have, have it cloned so we can simply go to tiny directory and we need to create a directory called build let me create a directory named build two because I already have uh, it installed. So okay, and then we will go to the build directory, and here we need to run cmake command. So we'll simply run cmake dash dash. It means that it will run cmake on the previous directory. It will create all the configuration file, and uh, as you can see, the configuration or build file have been written over here. Now we simply need to run the build command that is uh, this one that is uh, cmake dash dash build dot it means that the current uh, directory uh, dash dash config release so we want a release build we can even change it to debug build if you want so we'll generally use release build so after that when we press uh, enter it will compile tiny instrument and all the dependencies and then it will also compile chapel of fuzza so uh, we will see what are the files it creates so you can see that compilation was very quick. It doesn't take much time compared to other fuzzers. And if we see inside the build directory now, you can see that there is a file named fuzzer. So this fuzzer is the main uh, fuzzer binary which will fuzz our program. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, when we run it, it simply gives the fuzzer version and then it has to refer to the documentation. So there are different command lines for Jackalop and more or less it is same as what we have seen on the windows. If you are watching my previous videos, uh, if you are not comfortable, I will recommend you to watch my previous videos on Jackalop where we first a windows binary. So uh, let us go ahead and uh, look at various option and then we will fuzz a program with that. So you can see I have opened the GitHub uh, repo page for Jackalop and uh, there are a lot of documentation over here. Like we have already done the uh, build part over here and to run that, you can see that uh, the command line format is given over here. That is dot slash fuzzer, which is our main barrier that followed by the fuzzer arguments. We will see 
what are the different arguments are there then instrumentation and other uh, component arguments a uh, dash dash uh, target command line right so this dash dash if you recall from our windows uh, uh, fuzzing video everything followed by this is used by target command line and uh, we can see that a simple so there are a lot of options i will recommend you to go to this site and read all the option but we will go uh, and look at the command line over here which has been given one example command line has it given for mac os so we'll simply go with that so the command line is uh, fuzzer that is main binary dash in and then we have to give the input directory where we have kept all our seed corpus followed by uh, dash out and uh, out directory where it will stay all the crashes or hangs or all the uh, generated corpus then dash t that is timeout that is 1000 millisecond then dash delivery uh, which is shared memory it can be shared memory or it can be file so uh, since this is our first video on mac we are going to use the file and in later videos you will see how can we use shared memory as well then uh, dash instrument module so this instrument module is the module which we want to first which where we want to find bugs so in case of windows it used to be some dlls like gdi plus 32 etc but in case of mac os you can give the modules which is responsible for processing the particular uh, file so if you are fuzzing some graphics file you need to give that module name over here or if you are fuzzing some executable you can give the executable file name over here then dash target module so this is the harness uh, module which we are fuzzing and you have to give the name over here so you can actually uh, use the same like uh, target module and uh, instrument module if you are fuzzing a program which is uh, itself is processing all the file if it is not depending on any third party libraries then you can use uh, both the program uh, like instrument module and target module is uh, same file name then target method uh, dash target method so this is the method or function which you want to fuzz we will see how can we uh, figure that out and dash uh, nr1 the number of argument this uh, particular function takes then iteration that is about 10,000 iteration means like how many times it will repeat and before starting a new process then persist mode then dash loop dash compare coverage this is a very important feature if you are not comfortable with what is compare coverage i will recommend you to uh, go and have a look at my previous videos and dash dash and this is our first program the program which you want to first that is taste uh, dash m at the right under it so if we remove dash m by default it will be file so if we are fuzzing file we don't need to use this dash m option this dash m op option is only useful when we are using shared memory mode but when you are using shared memory mode you need to make sure that you set up some shared memory in your harness program and you read all the data from there so uh, we are not doing it right now we'll probably see it in the next videos so these are the simple command line and uh, uh, now what we are going to uh, see is that we'll use our uh, damn vulnerable c program which we have been using in all our videos so let me go to the build directory and open that so you can see that this is the simple uh, program and uh, since I have to keep this video simple, I am using a very simple uh, C program. But in general case, you won't be having the source code for the Mac binaries. So for that, you need to write a harness pro uh, program which calls the API or the function which you want to pass from the libraries. So you can check my old leaf fuzzer uh, videos where I have uh, shown you how to write uh, harness, or you can check my old Jekyll of Winifel uh, videos. So uh, this is a simple. Uh, like file parser where it takes some data from the file it opens one file it reads the data and then it will perform various operation like uh, it will add image width and height and then it will look at some memory and then it will do a lot of operations so basically it contains a lot of bugs uh, i have added a lot of uh, bug or vulnerabilities in that just for the demo purpose and it's a very simple program so uh, i'm not going into much detail for that and now as you can recall there is a main function which calls process image function which opens the provided input file so this process image function is responsible for all the uh, operations right so this is where the bugs are and so what we want to do is that we want to first this particular function because we cannot first entire dll or entire file what we need to do in case of mac os is that we need to fuzz a specific function which calls a particular API or which process all the files. So in our case, this is the function which we want to fuzz. 
Now what we are going to do, do is that we are simply going to compile this program so that we get an executable. Remember that in macOS you won't get the source code, you will only have executable. But just to make things simpler, I am compiling a C program. So the command line is clang, that is uh, clang dash o, that is our output file. And this is our source file. We are not enabling address sanitizer or uh, uh, undefined behavior sanitizer here because generally Mac binary is when you first they don't come with uh, sanitizers. So we will get one file that is uh, img read underscore my and you can see that it is a 64 bit Mac O executable ARM 64 bit file. So my Mac is uh, M2 and that's why you are seeing this ARM 64 bit file. And now if we run this file. You can see that it expects one parameter like and it gives the error that cannot open file or file does not exist. Now to figure out the function, there is a, a simple thing. What we can do is that we will use nm and a command and then we will give our uh, executable file. So what it will give is that it will give us all the uh, function or which it is using. And you will see that the function which you want to parse is process image. So here it is, there is a underscore over the underscore process image right so this is something we need to use while fuzzing and so complex example you probably need to debug you need to disassemble that file using any of the decompiler like ghedra or ida uh, you might need to set up some breakpoint to figure out which is the actual function where file processing happening but that is something we'll see in the later videos so for this video just to uh, what we are trying to see is that how can we compile the fuzzer and how can we fuzzer simple program so we'll not go into much details so as you can see that this is the uh, function name which we need to use and now we can use a command line uh, before that we need to create a directory and we need to collect some input corpus so i already have an input file and now We'll simply create one file so what it will do is that it will create one input file as you can see with uh, the hello string inside that and then when we first our fuzzer will take this input file it will modify it will mutate this file it will generate few new files and it will feed this to our first program so and it will see whether our program is crashing or not so this is our initial seed corpus and now we can simply fuzz our file so the command is like fuzzer, which is main fuzzer executable dash in, uh, then followed by our input directory where we have the seed file dash out. Uh, this is where it will keep all the crashes or hangs uh, or other uh, like newly discovered input. T is timeout that is 1000 dash instrument module. So in this case, since we are only having one file, one executable file, and this img read underscore mac is where all the processing is happening. In this case, we will use instrument module as img read underscore mac. But if you are fuzzing some other uh, graphics library or something, then you may want to add uh, those graphics libraries name over here. Then dash target module. So this is the uh, like example for the harness program. And in our case, both are same img read underscore mac because uh, this is where all the processing is happening. We don't, we are not calling any other executable. So this is the main binary we are fuzzing. Then dash target underscore method. So this is the process image. So you can recall this uh, underscore uh, in front of process image function. This is what we have seen over here, right? And then, and that's our process image function takes only one argument. Iteration is 10,000 uh, dash persist dash loop. So we want to loop. Uh, and then there is compare coverage. We want to have compare coverage and then uh, thread. So this thread means the number of processes you want to have uh, simultaneously. So you can by default it will be one. And uh, uh, since mine is like eight cores, I am I have given six dash dash followed by your first executable name. So that is IMG read uh, Mac at the rate address. So that at the rate address will be replaced by fuzzer with the mutated uh, file name. So when what happens is that when our fuzzer uh try to fuzz this program it will randomly generate some mutated file based on the seed corpus and then it will replace this at the rate at the rate with the file name and now let us see uh, we'll run this and we'll see what happens so okay there is uh, some issue Okay, so before when we are running this command, 
you will notice that we are getting one error that is error delivering sample return with clean target this is because on the mac uh, os you need to run it with the sudo privileges so now let us try again and see if it uh, works okay okay so it is working and you will notice that uh, it is able to find some crashes over here since our binary is not compiled with ASIN or undefined behavior sanitizer uh, what we are seeing is some exception like this over here and uh, let us stop this fuzzer can simply press ctrl c and if we go to our out directory and if we see the directory structure you will see that there is a directory name crashes which saves all the crash uh, file is hangs then there are some input so since we are running like six uh, threads together uh, all six input file will be over here these are the mutated file and samples uh, is uh, the newly discovered samples over here so if we go to the crashes folder you can notice that there are various uh, crashes like there is access violation and all these things so let us do one thing we will simply try to replicate one of the crash so let's uh, try with the first one and you will see that we are getting a segmentation fault over here right and similarly if we like print this file so you will notice that this is the mutated file where it contains uh, like we actually used hello string but it has modified that and it has added some data over here uh, similarly let's try to run or repeated this using second file so we are getting another segmentation fault over here and if we simply check what is inside the file you will see that uh, it is actually a binary file so let's use excel and you will see that it is uh, having this mutated uh, data over here right so this is how you can uh, use jackal to first a binary on the mac os so this is how you can first various Mac binaries using Jackalock Puzzle on Mac OS. I hope that you have liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. That will motivate me to create more such videos. Till the next video, stay safe and goodbye. Enjoy. Bye.